this is my setup for the 2020 GB Duro. Now GB Duro is a 1,200 mile self-sufficient bikepacking race from Land's End to John O'Groats in the UK. So that's basically the length of the UK. Uh, now due to COVID this year, obviously um, things have changed in the world. So this is fully self-sufficient. So on this bike, I have enough food for the whole race. Not allowed to stop in any public buildings, not allowed to use any shops, nothing. So uh, it's gonna be a bit heavy. So I'll start with bike. Uh, this is a Mason Cycles ISO, so that's in search of. Um, it's, it's designed for events like the Tour Divide or long distance touring with loads of weight. So in actual fact it turned out to be the perfect bike for this particular edition of GB Duro. So this bike can run 29 inch mountain bike tyres, so it's got a load of clearance around the stays. However, I've decided to run a 700c 45mm WTB, WTB Riddler tyre. Uh, now the route is 50% tarmac and the rest is kind of fast riding gravel with some rockier sections. So I'm taking a punt, I'm going for a fast setup. Um, I'll take it easier on the rockier descents um, and hope for the best really. The group set is Shimano's GRX. So it's one by 11, uh, it's 1042 on the back and I've got a 36 tooth chain ring on there on the next GR chain set. It's a boost frame, so I need a mountain bike chain set to fit it properly. Now for the wheels, I'm running the same wheel set I used on the Tour Divide last year, so it was a custom wheel set. It's Hunt's mountain bike uh, XC rear hub and a Dynamo front hub, and they're laced onto the carbon X wide rim. So that's quite a nice wide rim, um, and it sits well with a 45 mm tire like this. It saves a bit of weight, and they roll nice and fast. Now as you can see I've got a Dynamo front hub. Because this race is fully self-sufficient I'm not going to be able to stop to charge anything. And so I've got my lights running off the Dynamo. I've got a custom bracket here from uh, 76 Projects. Uh, they 3D printed a mount for a um, like a GoPro mount and then I've used a GoPro adapter mount for this, this exposure Revo so it sits under the tri bars nice and neatly. Uh, I've also got a GoPro there and then I can also charge my GPS using the Dynamo. I've got a sine wave uh, reactor, I think it is, a uh, USB charger, which you can find down the side here, tucked away in the frame bag. It's a revolution charger. So while we're at the front of the bike, I'll show you around the cockpit. As you can see, I'm running this lovely bar from Ritchie. Now this is a Venture Max Carbon. It's got a nice ergonomic top. Uh, this is quite unique drop, which I've used for a number of years, so it's my favourite bar. And then the nice um, long tops on the um, Shimano GRX levers. And then I use these tiny little um, clip-on bars, I think they're data triathlon bars. They're just nice and neat, give you a bit of a different option and plenty of places to mount things like a spot tracker. Tucked in behind the handlebars, I have two of these misgrape bud bags. The one on the left here has got my water treatment equipment in there. Um, as we're not allowed to go to shops, as I've previously mentioned, we're gonna have to be able to pick up stuff, uh, pick up water from streams or taps. So I've got chlorine tablets, and then I've got this filter, uh, I think it's an MSR one, uh, that just gets, gets the particles out. I've drunk out of puddles, I've drunk out of streams. Um, it's pretty good, and as long as you treat stuff with chlorine, if you're a bit uh, unsure, it's, it's okay. The right hand one will carry some of my food. Now I'll come into food in a bit more detail in a minute, but essentially this is going to be my snacks for the day. Um, so I've got cookies, these are, they've got a bit of protein in them. M&Ms are a, a good, um, good boost for sugar, as I discovered on Tour Divide. And then I've got a load of raw velo bars. Um, and I'll snack on these, these th throughout the day. Five of these is a thousand calories. Uh, that's about um, 800 odd calories there. Well, you know, four, four, 500 calories there. And three of those is just under a thousand calories. So you can get quite a lot in, in snacks. Now tucked behind the stem bag is the Miss Grape Top Shoe Bag. Now I love these because they've got the mesh on the side. So I've got things like lip salve, things I need to get quickly. Um, I've got that one side. Uh, and then I've got my Dyna plug for tubeless punches uh, on the other side. Now obviously I want them quite often and quickly so they're available. Um, also the, the, the mesh on the side of the buds I put rubbish in. I've got chain lube in there, uh, mosquito repellent, toothpaste, things that I'm probably going to use relatively often. In the top tube bag I've got my little camping stove. 
more on the meals in a minute. I have sun cream. I use the P20 stuff. Hand sanitizer, I normally carry some anyway, but it's even more important nowadays. Um, but I use that for obviously washing my hands after going to the toilet before I eat. And also for drying out certain areas, uh, mainly in shorts. Got a DR2 charger in case I need it. Um, hopefully I won't do, but I don't want to risk it. Instant puncture patches. I've got a, uh, a head net because we're going to Scotland in summer. So those mosquitoes will be out. I've got a flint for my stove and I've got a little knife that I use to cut food and some spare GoPro batteries and also one of my GoPros will be in the back there probably this one I'm very lucky to be sponsored by Miss Grape uh, they're a great company in Italy um, they make a lot, I've run a lot of their, their production bags uh, but Michele's very kindly made me this custom bag for this frame I had a full frame bag for Tour Divide last year uh, but I, I prefer the bottles in the frame um, so he's made me a custom top tube bag but it flares quite a lot at the front to get a bit of extra volume in there uh, and in this bag I keep all of my kit so this is basically all the riding stuff I'm actually traveling pretty light on this race despite the obvious uh, you know elephant in the room of the food which I'll talk about in a second I'm trying to keep the rest of my kit really light because I don't want to carry too much so in here I have knee warmers arm warmers rain gloves just because I'm not going to be able to bail into anywhere warm, so I want to not take any risks. I've got uh, an additional, it's, it's kind of an ultra lightweight jersey from my sponsor DHB, um, and it's shower proof, and it's a good extra layer, so I normally run that in a size medium and run it over my normal kit. Um, I've got a DHB rain gelée, just take a buff, and it's amazing what that does for keeping temperature in. Waterproof shorts, again not taking any risks. This is my spares, so I've got tools, um, loads of spare brake pads, um, hanger, things like that. I've got a cycling cap from Hunt, another of my sponsors. Uh, and then I've also got a little dry bag, I've got a spare pair of shorts in here because I just like to keep fresh and some fresh socks. They're going to be sealed up, hopefully they'll remain dry and maybe halfway through I'll treat myself. Um, I've got my spork, titanium, long handle. Essential for my food. I'm eating ready, um, ready, ready prepared dry meals, which I'll show you in a second. And you need a long handle to get right down in the bottom. And then I've got a spare inner tube. I also have a couple of spare inner tubes taped to the front of my shutter fender. Um, and so I've got three in total. Now on the back here, I've got my stove and cooking appliances. Now I've got this really cool custom uh, holder, which was made for me a few years ago. It just fits on the top of my bag. Stoves are really awkward to carry, so it's nice just to be able to tuck it out of the way. And I've just got a one litre pot. So I've got a pot, I've got a folding cup, and I've got a coffee filter. And then I've got a lighter as well as my flint, um, just to, to light the gas. I will have a gas canister in there as well. I just haven't got one at the moment. Now I've got plenty of capacity for water, so I've got these side entry cages, I've got one litre raw velo bottles, raw velo um, provide my food and uh, drinks, which is very, very uh, much appreciated. Um, and then I've got a little 500ml bottle on the bottom there. Plan is, I think, to use that for, for cooking water, so when I get to time I'm going to have a meal, um, I'll just top that up at the earliest opportunity. I don't want to carry all that weight all the time, um, so I'll just try and, uh, try and give myself capacity for when I need it. Onto the back of the bike, you can see I've got the exposure red eye that runs off the dynamo and also a little cat eye light uh, as a second backup light. And then I've got the Miss Grape bag with the uh, safety pizza attached. The safety pizza is very important because it looks like a slice of pizza and it makes me laugh and hopefully it might make me a bit safe on the roads. So in the, in the saddle bag, this is all my sleeping gear and one day's worth of meals. So I'm going to be relying on pre-made um, pre meals and some of the foods I showed at the front of the bike. So I'm taking fruit and nuts and nuts. So one of them is a uh, thousand calories. So that's quite a lot of calories. And again, a savory, more natural food option. I'll also be relying on these expedition meals. So each one of these is 1000 calories. Uh, so that's a spaghetti bolognese. Um, so in the back here I've got one day's worth of meals, 3,000 calories, 4,000 calories with the nuts and then another few thousand calories on the front of the bike as snacks uh, and probably a bit in my pockets to start with. So, so I've got strawberries there as well, so I'll take three of them. 
got a bag for rubbish. Everything that goes in must come out. So I'm going to sort of be collecting that as I go along. I've also got my DHB rain jacket. It's great. It's got a hood on it. Folds down really small. I am really am a fan of having a hooded jacket. When it's really wet and miserable, it just sort of closes in around your head and it, it does make a massive difference. Uh, also, as you might have noticed, it's bright orange, which um, is especially good for safety. Also in the saddle pack, I have my sleeping bag, which as you can see is in an additional dry bag. It's actually a, a fully custom PhD Designs bag. Um, I wanted certain things like a foot, foot zip and a half zip. Um, and I've got a waterproof outer layer on it. Uh, so that's nice and light and hopefully nice and comfortable. Um, I'm all for, for good recovery on these races. So I've got an Outdoor Research Helium bivvy. Rather than, than a normal bivvy bag, I've gone for a hooped bivvy. Uh, and that just keeps the, um, you know, the, the material off your face a bit, makes it a little bit more comfortable. And you can almost, um, you know, almost get changed in it, which is, is useful if it gets really wet. I also have a PhD Designs down jacket which is in a waterproof bag and I have a sleeping mat. Uh, it's a Thermarest Neo Air, I've used it for years and years and years. Again, I, I'd rather take the extra 200 grams and be comfortable. Saving 200 grams isn't going to make a big, a big difference over the course of the race but good night's sleep will. Now there's one thing that you've probably noticed by now which I haven't mentioned and that's these two rather large bags strapped to the front of the bike and the bar bag from Miss Grape. Now this is all food. So each one of them has uh, 14,000 calories in it. Um, I'm hoping it's enough to get through. Um, I guess I'll find out. The key thing to this race is going to be management. I need to try and get the weight off, um, off the bike but equally uh, I need enough energy to see me through. So. It's going to be quite an interesting um, experiment really. Um, so I'll put the tracking link below, follow the race, starts on the 1st of August 2020 and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.